Hey everyone, it's Friday and this is Pastor Kenny Lee coming to you with another um, time of virtual interaction as we conclude our work week. We come together um, to observe our spiritual disciplines of prayer, reading scripture, Christian community. We hope that this, if this is the first time you've tuned in, that you find a moment of peace, a time to reflect, an opportunity to connect with others and with the Lord. As we prepare to enter our time together, I want to invite you to pray. Holy God, we thank you for this new day that you have given us. We thank you for an opportunity to gather here around this virtual campfire to hear words of scripture, to be reminded of your eternal plan for our lives God, we pray that your Holy Spirit be operative in this time that we share in the hearts and minds of those who are present. In Jesus' name, amen. Our scripture passage today comes to us from Isaiah 53, and I'll begin reading with verse 1. Who has believed our message, and to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? He grew up before him like a tender shoot and like a root out of dry ground. He had no beauty or majesty to attract us to him, nothing in his appearance that we should desire him. He was despised and rejected by mankind, a man of suffering and familiar with pain. Like one from whom people hide their faces, he was despised, and we held him in low esteem. Surely he took up our pain and bore our suffering, yet we considered him punished by God, stricken by him and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgressions, he was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him, and by his wounds we are healed. We all like sheep have gone astray, each of us has turned to our own way, and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed and afflicted, yet he did not open his mouth. He was led like a lamb to the slaughter, and as a sheep before its shearers is silent, so he did not open his mouth. By oppression and judgment he was taken away, yet who of his generation protested? For he was cut off from the land of the living. For the transgression of my people he was punished. He was assigned a grave with the wicked and with the rich in his death, though he had done no violence, nor was any deceit in his mouth. Yet it was the Lord's will to crush him and cause him to suffer. And though the Lord makes his life an offering for sin, he will see his offspring and prolong his days, and the will of the Lord will prosper in his hand. After he has suffered, he will see the light of life and be satisfied by his knowledge. My righteous servant will justify many, and he will bear their iniquities. Therefore I will give him a portion among the great, and he will divide the spoils with the strong, because he poured out his life unto death and was numbered with the transgressors. For he bore the sin of many and made intercession for the transgressors. This is the word of God for us, the people of God, to which we respond, thanks be to God. What a beautiful passage of scripture. Um, this cryptic message in the servant song portion of Isaiah. Certainly, this passage of scripture has been read. We quite often hear it at Advent, but it's a good reminder for us that God has had, even from the beginning, uh, from the fall of mankind, even before the fall, because God is all-knowing, God had a plan to reconcile humanity to himself. God had this overarching plan in place, and, and Jesus was an integral part of that. Jesus' life, death, and resurrection are what purchased for us a salvation that, yes, is free to us, but cost Jesus everything. When we invite people to make a commitment, a faith commitment to Jesus Christ, to, to acknowledge Jesus as their Savior, that grace comes to us as a free gift. It is charity um, from God on our behalf. But then that ongoing life of discipleship that follows that commitment, that is a time when we 
have to count the cost. We have to count the cost of what it means to follow Jesus. And sometimes being a Christ follower means um, pouring your own life out for the lives of those around you to offer people help and hope whenever um, the opportunity presents itself. Sometimes being a Christ follower means speaking the truth in love to someone who may be going through a bad time or or facing challenging life circumstances. We, we all have crises in our lives and yet we can rest in knowing that God is there with us, that, that Jesus Christ understands our suffering because he suffered just as we have. He knows what it is to be hungry. He knows what it is to be sick. He knows what it is to be in pain, to, be, to have sorrow. He knows what it is to suffer injustice and to be pushed out of the central community. He knows what it's like to be ostracized and marginalized. He knows what it's like to be poor. Jesus Christ suffered every part of the human condition and yet he had an absolute faith in God, a trust in God's work and will for his life and committed himself to fulfilling the mission that God had set forth for him. May we all commit ourselves to the mission that God has given us in our lives. I have a beautiful song that I'm excited to be able to share with you today. This is a beautiful choir rendition of how great thou art. Let's listen together.
It's a holiday weekend and I know many folks are going to travel. We're going to have cookouts and picnics and fireworks. I want to encourage everyone to be safe this weekend. Let's pray as we prepare to conclude our time together. Holy One, we thank you and praise you for this opportunity to be in your presence, to hear your word, to offer you the praise and prayers of our hearts. We pray today that you would remind us that you have called us to be a grateful people. Lord, help us to respond with grace toward those around us. We ask this all in the name of your Son, Jesus, our Savior. Amen. I hope you all have a great weekend, and I look forward to seeing you again on Monday.